Hello, beautiful Pisces. Hope you guys are doing well. We're gonna take a look at your love life. This is for April 1st through April 15th, 2019. If you are sun, moon, rising, Pisces, this is for you. All right, let's see what's up, you guys. Please like, share, subscribe, leave your comments. If you need a private reading, click the description box below. And you can go right to my website and you can book a private reading. All right, also I'm on Instant Go if that's easier. All right, let's take a look and see what's coming in for Pisces and your love life. All right, April 1st through April 15th. One more shuffle and we're gonna get right to it because I know how much you guys love shuffling. All right, here we go. Cutting and doing for Pisces. What's coming in for you guys? Let's take a look. Collective love energy for Pisces. All right, coming in to the current moment, Pisces, we have the Four of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me, clearing my voice. What's influencing that Four of Cups in reverse or the challenge? The Queen of Cups in reverse. Could be you, Pisces. It could be. On your mind is the Ten of Shields. So this would be like the Ten of Pentacles in the Rider Waite. What happened in the recent past? The High Priestess in reverse. Well, hi, Pisces. How are you doing? Major Arcana for Pisces. There you are. The situation or why everything is happening, Pisces. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. What will you experience coming into the near future? The Knight of Cups in reverse. There are uprights. So anybody that wants to bitch about reversals, go to a different channel to somebody that, well, just does uprights. It's not how I read, okay? How do you see yourself right now? The seven of cups. Ooh, a lot of cups, which makes sense because you're a water sign, but also a lot of emotion. So the energy coming in in your environment that you don't see, what's coming towards you is the three of shields, which would be the three of pentacles. All right. All right, what's in your emotions, Pisces? The father in reverse, the emperor. Okay, sign of Aries. It's in reverse. Some of you might be dealing with an Aries. All right, what's in the outcome for Pisces? We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay. So let's take a look, Pisces. Let's do it. All right, let's take a look at the bottom of the deck and get your overall energy. We have the Nine of Cups, Three of Swords in reverse, and the Star in reverse. Aquarius energy there. Might be getting over somebody that was just kind of smug is what I'm feeling too. Something didn't manifest. You're trying to get your happiness back here. The Three of Swords in reverse, though, getting over. And the Ten of Swords in reverse is on the bottom of the deck there too. So healing taking place. Could have been a third-party energy, sadness, something like that, a breakup. But you guys are getting over it. And that's what I kind of feel here too is what it looks like. Let me take a look. I want to get this. I want to get I want to look at this energy here for a second because I just I'm getting like messages and all that kind of shit and I need to really hone in on my intuition here of what's going on. Okay, coming in Pisces. We have the 4 of cups in reverse. Some type of missed opportunity is coming into the current moment right now. Right? It could be obviously with the four cups in reverse, an opportunity that came back around and then it was missed for whatever reason. There's a missed opportunity. And the challenge or what's influencing that is this queen of cups in reverse. This is probably you, Scorpio Cancer, just not offering your emotion. Not offering your emotion, Pisces. Could be a lack of healing with that queen of cups, but I'm not feeling that intuitively. I'm just not. Because I think you guys are getting over something is what I feel. Okay. A lot of you with this Nine of Cups energy, God, all these cups, is you guys like getting out there dating again, going towards wish fulfillment. This is self-indulgent energy too. It could be just enjoying things that make you happy, right? Because you are, you're in that healing energy. It's just what I'm feeling. On your mind is the Ten of Pentacles. Ten, completion, stability, value. This is, you know, bringing stability to a long-term relationship. You guys have long-term relationship on your mind. Some of you might just be focused on work, but I don't really feel it because there's a lot of emotion in this reading. I feel like on your mind is long term and there was a missed opportunity. Either you stopped offering the emotion here. You're just like, eh, sometimes the queen of cups in reverse can be quite mad too. The recent past, we have the high priestess in reverse. This is you guys, Pisces. Something came to light. This can also be you guys feeling like maybe you weren't listening to your intuition when it came to something. Or this is like a secret coming out. 
opening up, something was revealed, something like that. We're going to clarify that because that's you guys. And it has something to do with a long-term relation. That Ten of Pentacles can be marriage or somebody that's been together for a very long time. The situation is the Five of Swords in reverse. This is just walking away from betrayal. Obviously, in the upright, somebody is taking advantage of you or playing mind games with you or trying to, you know, sever or hurt its challenges and strife. But in the reverse, this is like walking away from that. So this is why everything's happening. You guys aren't having this. <laughs> Whatever this energy is. We're going to clarify and see it. Maybe you guys found out somebody was married or already in a relationship. It could have been with a water sign energy too because this queen of cups is in reverse as the challenge maybe that's what came to light pisces you guys saw it you were like shit why didn't i listen to my intuition something like that coming in what you're going to experience is the knight of cups in reverse just not offering your emotion i mean this is probably you guys could be the other person too i feel like it's more like you though knight of cups in reverse is it could be jealous energy too but it's just, nope, my cup is being poured out. I'm not doing it, says the Knight of Cups. Could have been dealing with somebody, too, in that night energy that really wasn't about a commitment. It's like the Knight of Cups in reverse. They come in, they come out. It's like that, you know, knight in shining armor. But they, you don't know when you're going to hear from them again. It's like one minute they offer, the next they don't. It's just not reliable. You see yourself right now as the Seven of Cups. You might be having some confusion, some illusions. Seven of Cups can be that dreamy kind of, I, I can't see the reality of the situation. But it's also you see yourself as possibly having other options too. Now, outside influences coming in that you don't see. So the energy coming towards you is the Three of Pentacles. Usually third party for me is in the reverse of three of pentacles. It doesn't have to be. We're going to clarify it. Somebody in your environment, they either want to work with you and build. This can also be dating. It's like going out, being social, starting from the ground up. It's a three towards the ten of pentacles. Okay, but it could also be third party, which is why you're going to experience not offering this emotion. Maybe having some jealousy. I mean, who wouldn't if something was revealed? Now, in your emotions is the emperor in reverse. You guys might be quite pissed. I mean, the Emperor in Reverse feels that they don't have control or power over a situation, Aries energy. It's a lack of stability. It's, you know, it's it's not having the power of control. And it can be quite angry energy. We'll see why. Outcome is the Queen of Wands in Reverse. So who's this, right? Because it's not you. Queen of Wands in reverse could be a Leo Sag Aries. Sometimes the Queen of Wands in reverse is just the energy of the other woman or the other man. You know, it's like another energy. It's also the energy that Queen of Wands in reverse, she's pissed too, right? Like she's kind of that mean girl. She can be quite spiteful, but it's because she's been pushed to that limit. We're going to see who this Queen of Wands is here in, in uh, the outcome. But that Queen of Wands in reverse is also just not taking action you know, if it's not the energy of another person or if it's not your energy, Pisces, it's, you know, lacking confidence to move forward, not taking action. We're going to see. All right, let's clarify and see what's up for Pisces. Beautiful Pisces from April 1st through April 15th, 2019. What does Pisces need to know, please, about their love life? What's coming in for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Pisces in love? All right, so I did shuffle this already. Let's cut it. And chat about it, Pisces. What's up? Let's take a look at this Nine of Cups. What is up with the Nine of Cups? This is the overall energy. What's the Nine of Cups? It can be that kind of smug, right? What's this Nine of Cups about for Pisces overall energy? Nine of Cups. We have the lovers in reverse. Yeah, so see, sign of Gemini. This can be a breakup or a falling out, but it can also be cheating. I'm just saying, look, I don't choose the cards that come out, so don't get pissed at me. I'm just saying, that's what that is. The lovers in reverse is it can be cheating. It can be a lack of decision, but not on top of that nine of cups. Somebody is smug, you know, and somebody was getting some type of like self-indulgent energy somewhere else. What's this uh, lovers in reverse about for Pisces overall energy? What is it? The eight of swords in reverse. Somebody released themselves from a third party energy. 
and somebody in that energy is quite smug. All right, getting wish fulfillment somewhere else maybe too. The recent past is the high priestess in reverse. That's you guys. Major for Pisces. What's why is this here in the recent past? What's this high priestess about for Pisces? Recent past. The four swords. I feel like in the recent past, Pisces, something came to light with that high priestess in reverse. Also, you may have just taken a step back. I can't hone in on my intuition, so I'm going to withdraw, take a break. Four Swords is taking a break from somebody. It's healing and recovery, but it's also just the energy of not, not doing anything. Withdraw, taking a minute to get your thoughts together because something was revealed here or you really wanted to hone in on your intuition. What's the Four Swords about in the recent past for Pisces? The Knight of Wands in reverse, Leo Sag Aries. It's like that player energy. You guys withdrew from somebody that was like very in and out. We have two knights here. So they're really not about a long-term commitment. They're in, they're out, they're fickle. You can't rely on them. All right? And you guys withdrew from that to get your thoughts together here. Also, too, again, something may have been revealed. Now, coming in right now, Pisces, we have the four of cups in reverse. What's this about for Pisces? Why is the four of cups coming in right now for Pisces? What is it? The star. Sign of Aquarius. Some of you may have coming in may have missed an opportunity with an Aquarius. Okay. But the star energy also too is healing. Okay. I don't really feel as this isn't like wish fulfillment and manifesting and that shit. Not on top of that four of cups in reverse. Coming in right now, there's a missed opportunity. You guys are doing a lot of healing and a lot of reflecting. What's the star about coming in right now for Pisces? The Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, another night. We've got all these nights. You guys are dealing with somebody that's not, that's flighty. They're in, they're out. They're not about a long-term commitment. Some of you are healing from somebody that's just, they offer their emotions and then they leave. It's like, when are you coming back? I don't know. One more card on the Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups may have been offering their um, cup to somebody else. What's the Knight of Cups about? The Ace of Pentacles. A brand new beginning. Stability. You guys are also healing from this, too, this energy, with that star energy, okay? Also, too, you guys, you saw this for what it is. So you took a pause. You pulled away from somebody, okay, after something was revealed. And so you guys are just moving forward. Some of you are offering that cup to somebody new with the Ace of Pentacles. Let's find out who this is. What's this Ace of Pentacles here coming in right now for Pisces? Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Cups in reverse. I think you guys coming in right now, for the majority of you, have found out that somebody has a new beginning here with somebody else, or you found out they're in a relationship. Why is the challenge the Queen of Cups here? It could be another water sign female, or it's just you guys are pretty pissed off. What's this Queen of Cups here in the reverse? Why is she the challenge? What's the Queen of Cups about? This would be the uh, Page of Swords. Yeah, and that's what I just said. I, the uh, Page of Swords is all about revealing. It's inquisitive. You find out something. You dig. You research. You spy. You stop. Whatever you need to do to uncover something. There could have been communication, too. Sometimes that Page of Swords is you find out some news, and it's on top of that Queen of Cups in reverse. On your mind is the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles on Pisces' mind? Why is it? Yeah, the Three of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of you guys found out somebody's married or in a commitment. Three of Pentacles in reverse is third party. I can't call it. Yeah, that's the only way I can call that. Sorry. And it's on top of the Ten of Pentacles, which is a long-term commitment or a marriage. One more card on the Three of Pentacles in reverse. What is this on Pisces' mind? Temperance in reverse. And you're just, your emotions are all over the place. Sign of Sagittarius. Temperance in reverse. Somebody's not willing to balance out the situation. And, you know, with temperance in reverse, emotions are just all out of whack. I feel like Pisces is pissed here. I'm just saying. But the situation, why everything's happening, is the five of swords in reverse. What is this? Why is the five of swords in reverse? The situation, why everything's happening for Pisces. Five of swords in reverse. The ten of cups in reverse. A lot of you guys are just cutting out manipulative energy. People that are trying to hurt you or take advantage of you. Because with the Ten of Cups in reverse, it's just brought you a lot of, obviously, emotional unhappiness. Ten of Cups is that family card, too. We have two tens here. So completion, obviously, of a cycle. What's this Ten of Cups in reverse? Why is this here? 
Yeah, see the Three of Swords in reverse. Telling you, you guys, a lot of, this is very specific. So thumbs down all you like. You know, not every reading is for every person, okay? But this is for somebody that needs to hear it. And that's why I do this, to help. So Three of Swords in reverse, third party. Okay, on top of that, Ten of Cups. Some of you found out somebody was in a relationship. I'm just saying. Coming in, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Why is the Knight of Cups uh, coming in for Pisces? Why will they experience the Knight of Cups in reverse? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Something's just coming to a halt. You know, the Knight of Pentacles is the energy just isn't moving. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, another night. Energy is just not moving. You're not offering your cup here, Pisces. Um, and with that Knight of Pentacles in reverse, again, dealing with somebody that's very fickle in and out. But this energy is just stopping. It's like putting a hole. It's just not moving. You see yourself right now as the Seven of Cups, Pisces. Why does Pisces see themselves as the Seven of Cups? Show us the King of Pentacles. You guys are coming to, you know, you're... You see yourself as the seven of cups. So I feel like you guys do have some confusion here. It's like, what happened? Because you guys uncovered something. You had a hard time listening to your intuition, but you finally did. You pulled away and took a break and you listened to your intuition. And now it's kind of like with the seven of cups, you see yourself as what the hell? On top of, you know, with this king of pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, if it's not an earth sign that you're having this confusion and these illusions about, somebody that's trying to pull the wool over your eyes, the king of pentacles, if it's not earth, it's somebody that, it's, it's a husband or a father. Did you guys find out somebody was married? And it's brought a lot of effing confusion. So the energy coming towards you that you don't see is this three of pentacles. Why is the three of pentacles coming in for Pisces? Why is the three of pentacles coming in for Pisces? The two of wands in reverse. Yeah. So because somebody is in a third energy, there's like this third energy here. There's no action being taken. That's the energy they're bringing because they're building with somebody or they're, you know, the three of pentacles is like teamwork, working together, third energy, third party. And because of that, we have the two of wands in reverse. Somebody's not taking action or making plans for the future. Why is the two of wands in reverse for Pisces? Seven of Wands in reverse, more fire energy, a lot of fire there. Giving up. That's the energy they're bringing is the Seven of Wands in reverse. This person, it's almost like they know they got caught, and it's like they can't even stand their ground. They can't even fight the fight, so they just give up with the Seven of Wands. Now, in your emotions is the Emperor in reverse, Aries energy. Why is this Emperor in reverse in Pisces emotions? Show us Three of Wands, more third party. You guys are pissed about a third party. I can't even, I can't make this shit up. Like, I can't call it another way. This is just what I'm seeing. Also, too, there's no power or control over manifesting with that three of wands. Ships coming in, that kind of thing. Like, you, you know, somebody didn't have boundaries here when it came to a third energy. Give me another card on the three of wands. What's the three of wands for Pisces? The chariot, obstacles. The chariot doesn't always have to be victory and success, right? The chariot can also be things are just out of effing control. If you think of a chariot, it's very, very fast energy. You have to pull on the reins and gain control over it. You know? And it, that's what's in your emotions, and it's due to a third energy. And I feel like in your emotions with this emperor in reverse... You know, you're probably dealing with somebody that didn't have boundaries, but also I feel like you guys are pretty pissed. You want to just move forward, but you also feel like things are just crazy and hectic. Because on your mind is temperance in reverse, too. You know, things not balancing out with the emotions or compromise. Why is chariot here in Pisces emotions? The six of wands. Six of wands is, you know, ego. Leo, Sag, Aries, six of wands is somebody's getting attention from somebody else. Somebody likes a lot of attention, too, with the six of wands. It's all about the ego. Okay. Now, the outcome is this queen of wands in reverse. Why is this the outcome for Pisces? What's this queen of wands in reverse for Pisces? Why is the queen of wands in reverse here in the outcome for Pisces? Page of cups in reverse. 
So somebody just not offering their emotion. There's no communication. There's no action being taken here. I don't really feel, yes, they, I do feel heavily like somebody found out about somebody here. And I don't always, you know, my readings aren't always, oh, cheating, third party. But if I see it, I'm going to call it. And that's what I see here. And in the outcome, yeah, it could be. There's this other energy, fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, or just the energy of somebody else. And because of that, the page of cups in reverse. Like there's no communication. There's no offer. There's no emotion here. Also, that page of cups in reverse is somebody that's just very immature with their emotions. There's no action being taken here in the outcome. Um, what's this page of cups in reverse? That's you guys, Pisces, by the way. What? Why is this uh, page of cups here in the reverse for the outcome? The emperor in reverse. Again, Aries energy. The emperor can also be a husband, okay, that had no boundaries, I want to see right now in the you now position, you're having some confusion here, right? About this king of pentacles energy, a husband or an earth sign. Who's this king of pentacles right now? Who's this king of pentacles? The wheel of fortune. I want to clarify that wheel of fortune again too, because I also feel like you see yourself right now. Pisces is probably having other options. And your other options could be, because he's in the upright. And I feel like if this was this energy, this mf -er would be in the reverse. A lot of you guys do see yourself as having options. I, that's how I see that now, too. With the King of Pentacles, somebody, if it's not an earth sign, somebody that you want to build with, that's all about building and bringing stability and long term. And the wheel, <clears throat> you see yourself as the wheel starting to move in your favor. What's this Wheel of Fortune for Pisces? Yeah, the Fool, more Aries energy something new so for a lot of you you see yourself as having options other of you others of you are still living in some type of confusion about what this person did to you okay big changes you see yourself going through karmic lessons things that you have no control over with the wheel of fortune but in that outcome again <clears throat> with that emperor in reverse it's like you guys are pissed or somebody was not you know had no boundaries when it came to the situation and I just said y'all are pissed. Queen of Swords in reverse. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, she's pissed. Queen of Swords can be <clears throat> in reverse. She's just cutting shit out. But it's also because she's been done wrong, right? She can be scorned. So it could be due to a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius female as well that you guys found out about. All right, let's do a Romance Angel card for you. Sorry that it wasn't the most positive reading, but I don't, you know, I don't handpick the cards. They just come out for a reason. So if it doesn't resonate, move on to somebody else. There's a lot of good readers on YouTube, but this reading was, was for somebody that's going to find this reading on my channel. So, all right, what does Pisces need to know? So give us um, some advice. Romance Angels, what do we want Pisces to know? Love. Love messages, advice, and guidance for Pisces, April 1st through April 15th, 2019. What does Pisces need to know, please? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And y'all have that on your mind, too. Yeah, I do feel like some of you guys found out about a marriage or a commitment. But you also have that on your mind. And I think some of you have options here, too, with somebody new that you've met. Okay. <clears throat> We have children. Your love life is being affected by children. You may have found out that somebody has kids with somebody, too, and that they're already married is what I'm feeling. So just as a recap, again, I feel like Pisces found out some shit and took some time out, started honing in on your intuition. Something came out here. You guys are just moving forward. Some of you have met somebody else, and you have that on your mind. Others of you have found out that somebody was in a commitment or a marriage, and you're not happy is what I'm seeing here. So that's what I have, Pisces. Love you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll talk soon. Take care.